Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Sunday, May 19th, 2019 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I foster my worth. And today we don't have a huge amount of astro energies going on, but we are coming down from the full moon energy. We have the moon in Sagittarius, which is going to play a part that we're going to look into. Um, and we're also coming off of that uh, Venus Uranus conjunct energy. And that being said, Uranus has shifted to four degrees, which is Uranus's degree. So just be aware <laughs> for the next several days of shakeups, of change, of shift, of triggers, because that's what Uranus does best. Um, all right, so coming off this full moon Scorpio energy, with the moon in Sagittarius, I just said in my patron video um, that I did, you know, I really do feel like the energy of alchemy comes when we work with those Scorpio energies and the Sagittarius energies together. And being that that full moon was in Scorpio and we now have the moon in Sagittarius, we have that ability right now, whatever is going on in your life, to alchemize it, to shift it. What it's going to take is a little bit of nurturing. And that's basically the point of what's going on today. Uh, we have Ceres conjunct the moon. So Ceres is actually a dwarf planet. It's not an asteroid. It is a dwarf planet that represents that mother energy. And Ceres is in Sagittarius. So it's like the mother within fostering uh, the spirit of adventure, the spirit of exploration, the spirit of possibilities. And in alchemy, it's so important to be able to hold those possibilities no matter where you are at. <laughs> in the scheme of things, uh, in whatever is going on, in whatever transformational situations, whatever triggers that you're on as energy, in regards to that. It's also fostering that sense of adventure. I wish I had the adventure card today, which I do not. <laughs> but Ceres, conjunct the moon in Sagittarius, fosters that adventure, fosters that place that's like, be open to learn just a little bit more. Be open to explore just a little bit further. So we've got that going on. So whatever you just experienced with this full moon, take that and apply that lesson to it. Take that and apply uh, that as you move forward with it. Um, and that's what's going to serve you best <laughs> with these energies. Besides that, the universe is like, take it easy. We've got some change and shift coming up over the next couple days. We're finishing up Sun and Taurus. We're moving into Gemini on Tuesday. So it's like, take it easy after all of this that has gone on. Um, but nurture, nurture that sense of adventure, nurture that sense of possibility, nurture the place within you that can expand further from where you're at, that can get beyond illusions. These cards together, God, it's so Scorpio Sagittarius. <laughs> Transformation with Beyond Illusions. Don't get stuck in the pit because you're not stuck in the pit. There are so many ways out. There are so many processes of rebirth, of revamping, of shift and change that are there for you. But you've got to be willing to get past the situation as you see it. You've got to be willing to go to that higher perspective. Like I said in the full moon video. And from there, <laughs> I love these cards, maturity and sharing. You reach that point of wholeness in the self and are able to share that light to help others. There's an analogy that I really like about, you know, sometimes we see others are like down in the pit and it's our job to shine that light, to hold that light, you know, because it can illuminate it so much from being up here. So if you see them in the pit, hold the light. Or if you're in the pit in some regard, what part of yourself can hold that light to illuminate your path through? Because there is always that path through. So short and sweet and to the point today. Uh, besides that, you can always book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. For that, take a second, find some gratitude. <laughs> and besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you, and you do have the power. Namaste.